Okay, quick side-by-side -side comparison. Here is the green lawn boy. Here is the Toro. Obviously the Toro's in much better condition, except for one thing. This has, ha this has a steering issue, and as you can see, it's right there. There is a broken bracket that holds the lower half of the steering in place. Go over to the lawn boy, it's in place. So that part is attached to the dashboard, dashboard's plastic, so on and so on. It's not replaceable. So what would have to happen is this entire dashboard would have to come out of this one right here and go on to the red chassis. So I still have not checked the transaxle on the green chassis. I do want to do that first, really before I do anything too extreme. That's why I brought this over here so I can swap over to rear tires as long as I can get this engine running and we're gonna see if this transaxle is first up any good. Um, if it is, I'm gonna proceed with this project. Uh, I'm gonna be busy tomorrow and Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all day away from home. So I won't be able to work on either of these those two days. So I just have today right now to do some work, do some pressure washing in a bit and see what's gonna end up happening. So as you can see, this goes in, this wheel works perfectly fine, but with that broken piece down in there, it flops around and that's one reason why this one wasn't fixed or made into just a yard tractor is because of the floppy steering. So this one here, like I said, showed has the tight steering. So the next step is to um, put the steering wheel back on here, put the front tires back on. I got a wire wheel, this front, um, control arm spindle clean up the back ones put the tires all on and see what happens um, I gotta get that bushing off of there as well it kind of got stuck in place so my idea is like I said put this together as a running and driving machine I'm hoping to find somebody who has one of these who could use it for parts eventually or use it as an extra machine and pull parts off eventually but it still runs and drives um, and cuts. So here's the deck right here. The deck is actually pretty solid compared to the other two I've had, compared to the original one on the red machine and the original one that's still on the other red machine. This deck is actually in really good shape. So um, that's what it's looking like. I gotta pressure wash that as well, get it cleaned up. Uh, check for any other major rust spots. I know there's one Somewhere along the front here, but again, it's not major. It's not that bad really. It's definitely better than the other two So um, there it is right there actually at the back. You can kind of see from this side here Bottom close closer to the right and a lot of those other holes are actually factory holes and it's just um, An extra hole right there would I worry about it? No, compared to what most of these decks look like, this one's in really good shape, considering where, where it came from. So that's what I'm looking at right now is just um, cleaning this up, cleaning up the green one, get it ready to potentially try and drive and see if that transaxle is any good. And I will be swapping the dashes uh, from the from the green one to the red one or i'll swap the entire pans it actually doesn't look like it's too bad of a job to do i can't lift up that one but i'll show you all you really gotta do is remove the, the two bolts right here underneath the springs and the whole back half is loose and there should be something up towards the front to undo and the pedals will have to come off there's no way they'll go through figure out where they figure out where they're bolted in get them unbolted and go from there. I think I gotta reuse the cable from this one here on this one here. The cable is in better shape on the red one than on the green one, not a big deal. So, still looking into it more and more. Converting these two, like, I've never done uh, MTD conversions and never done a Toro conversion, but I'm doing, I'm working on up to an MTD conversion. I've done this on Craftsman's all the time. Like swapping from older years to newer years, new years to older years, they're easy. But on these Toros and MTDs, you got to change over a little bit more stuff to make them work properly and make them work the way you want them to work. So, 
Also, this one here has, or no, it doesn't. I thought it had the key under the seat to mow in reverse, but it doesn't. That one doesn't have it either. So these are very close in years. But next step is to see if that engine will run and see if that transaxle will turn. So I'll talk to them there. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.